Kenya no for work you pass through. I saw this bedroom. I was the roof. Your leak. You also leak when rain fall. They make it go. See the whole car until rain over. Well, you see the house condition. Mm -hmm. You may not see with this list where you tell I get blind with the left eye. And they took out the cataract. But they tell me say glaucoma and I get no um no cure because they could have do something, but when we went there, it gone, it passed the stage of repair. Mm -hmm. And if they handle it, I will get completely blind. So presently me using terminal that they tell me for use until whatever. Well there was the issue I was having some problem with the terminal for the longest well new said I'm hospital and I get. So I thought it's best is I can see the president myself. Because I talk to people around but nobody listens. He told me that I will get a one year supply of um, my terminals and they have to bring it today. He told me that I will get one year supply of doxosin. They have to bring it today. And to take a check out at the Port Morant Hospital to, to review my site. And I spoke about the house and he said he will take care of it. That was Mr. James David, a 73-year-old pensioner who lives at Canefield Kanji in Region 6. He was one of the hundreds of people that met with President Dr. Irfan Ali on Thursday as the president led a government outreach program to Burbies. Mr. Davis encountered many difficulties, but upon meeting the president, he was promised that those difficulties would be resolved within seven days. Additionally, immediately he received one year supply of the medication he needs to help improve his quality of life. At the outreach activity on Thursday, President Dr. Irfan Ali emphasized that he cares about meeting people's needs. And so that is why he engaged with so many people at the State House in New Amsterdam. This is a level of seriousness uh, that we are taking in dealing with your issues. It is not passing the buck, but it's bringing the heads and the, the agency heads here so that they can work with you. You know, I said before, the big transformative projects are very important. The transformative infrastructure is very important. But the transformation of people's lives requires much more than that. It requires us taking responsibility for ourselves. It requires us behaving and acting in a different way, the way we treat the environment, the way we treat each other, the way we respect the elders, the way we take care of the children, the way we take care of women in our society, the way in which men uh, uh, go about their role and responsibility. It's a number of issues that are not money related that sometimes make the biggest difference. The outreach activity in Region 6 continues on Friday where the President is expected to meet with many more people and also visit other parts of Region 6. Reporting for the newsroom from New Amsterdam in Region 6, I am Fishani Raghavir.